Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Gabe from Geek Tech 3 and today we're going to be taking a look at the IBG Star Blood Glucose Monitoring System. Alright guys, so I'm super excited about this product. Um, I don't really, I really don't know where to start. Um, so first off, the IBG Star. Uh, it is a product, this is a very, very revolutionary product for type 1 diabetics such as myself. I've been a type 1 diabetic for the past 14 or 15 years or so now. Uh, and... Um, diabetics, type 1 diabetics, have to test their blood sugar six times a day. Testing a blood sugar um, consists of poking a finger or a toe or someplace on the body to extract blood and put it on to a testing strip, which plugs into this device here. And then this device essentially will tell you uh, what your blood sugar is. And if it's too high or too low, um, you have to take action, whether it's taking medicine or um, eating and taking sugar. So I'm not going to go into a whole explanation about diabetes, but... But this, there have been products like this. This is a really basic uh, tool that us diabetics use. Um, mine, I used to care. I have mine on the back of my insulin pump. This is going to attach on the bottom of my iPhone, which is really neat. Uh, you can. This is going to be a really cool product. I'm really excited to check this out. Uh, but it's it's just it's paving the frontier for mobile devices and diabetes care. Um, and it's the first of its kind. And huge shout out to the Sanofi Aventus people um, for meeting with me, teaching me about this product, and letting me see what it's all about. Um, and pretty much just giving me a handle on what this product is. Um, this thing is only available uh, in the Walgreens stores and Apple stores. I believe it's a marketing strategy for, um, from the company to uh, you know push it out to the younger people such as myself. Um, and so anyways, uh, I don't know if your insurance will cover it or if it will cover it. That's up to you and your insurance. I don't have any information about that, but um, anyways, let's get into this thing. Uh, so on the front here, you have the basic picture of the device. Uh, when I saw it in real life, it was a super, super small device. It looks kind of big on here, but as you can see in comparison to the 30-pin docking, uh, or the 30-pin um, uh, connector there, it's a relatively small device. Uh, they kind of blew it up for the picture, that's why it seems kind of big. Um, but here it just has the IBG Star blood glucose monitoring system, if my camera will focus. Uh, and then it says in this little uh, orange thing, start saving today, details inside. They've probably got deals for you trying to get more. Um, so you can get, you know, the testing strips and all the other things that come along with this. Uh, and then it says it's compatible with iPod Touch and iPhone. It is only compatible with the iPod Touch 2, 3, and 4th generations. And then the iPhone 3G... 3GS, 4, and the 4S. Um, so it's not compatible with all of them, but the very vast, the big mass, vast majority of it. Um, then also, uh, there's an application that this runs off of in the App Store. I believe it's called the, just called the IBG Starts Free, but you need this product for it to work. So you can go ahead and get it even if you don't have it, but it really won't mean anything. Um, and it says down here, no coding required because originally on other testers, um, you needed to match up the code with your test strips. Uh, they don't have to do that on here, which is really cool. And that's also easy to use. Um, at the top, you got the IBG Star. On the right side here, you got a picture of it on a uh, iPod Touch, uh, and it, you can just see how it, it's really like it's really flush with the design. It's really cool. On the back here, you got information about it, um, all the little specs, everything that comes inside, you, uh, the pins, the serial numbers, and the use by dates, all the information for customer service, and all that. And then here, you've got all the devices it works with. Um, so, you know, there you go. Uh, and so let's crack this thing open. So like I said, um, I am a type 1 diabetic. I have been for the past 14 to 15 years now. Um, and uh, I've been using the Cosmo insulin pumps, if there are any other diabetics out there. Uh, but they went out of business, so we're looking for a new company. And I think this is going to be my new tester. I'm going to be using this every day. Um, so right when you open it, you're greeted with this little package here. This has the tester in it, if I'm not mistaken. And then also, you've got manuals um, and information about everything that comes with it, and then savings um, for people that probably can't afford it. And then you've got reference guides and the owner's guide, which is kind of thick for such a small and simple device. Um, but it, it can be, it probably could get complex. On the inside, all we have left is a cable. And for charging in a wall charger. So this is a USB to a micro USB, it looks like. Um, and you plug the USB into this. This is the wall charger, um, and that's how you charge the device. Now, the device has its own separate charge. I was kind of hoping, you know, maybe it could also double as a, a battery pack so it could charge your device, but I think um, that was probably a little too much to ask. This is a first-generation product currently. Um, this is all that this is a relatively new. This came out weeks ago. 
and I'm very happy to get my hands out. I'm one of the first uh, people to make a video speaking English, so this is going to be pretty neat. So when you open up the case here, um, you would keep this in your pocket, ideally. You have got the finger pricking tool. Um, for this, you have to load a little needle in here, and then to to this is used to extract the blood from your uh, finger or wherever you're poking. Pull back and you press the button that shoots the needle into your finger and pulls it out so you can get the blood. You also have uh, the testing strips here in the bottle. These are the little strips that you're going to plug in. They only come with a few, so I believe it's just a demo sample. Uh, you got control solution. This is what you use to prime the device to make sure it's working. Um, what you do, it's supposed to be fake blood. You put some on your finger, and then you go to test your blood sugar like you would with the device, and then this will give you a specific reading. Um, it's really nothing. It's just water with uh, some weird chemicals in it. And then here's the star of our show. It is the IBG star. Uh, this seems to be in here pretty well. Oh, you just slide it out. Um, so this little guy here, uh, he's very, very small. As you can see, it's very, very small. You, I, I'm kind of scared about losing it, honestly, but um, it's not going to be out of its package for like, more than 40 seconds at max. Um, that says charge the IBG star with a power adapter before you. So before we use this, we got to plug it in and charge it. Uh, make sure the battery's all working. You can pull that off, and then here is the screen that you are greeted with. Now, as you can see, the you can see that there is the stainless steel looking edging. This is really cool. Matches with the iPod Touch, um, and it looks really cool on the iPhone. Um, and then on the uh, the 30 pin uh, connect or input, you've got the cover, which is really neat. I'm really glad to see that because I really don't want to get junk up in this when it's in my pocket or in the case. And then to use it. Um, one would just put it in there like that it slides in really easy it's really secure like this is this is like this is feels the same as any charging cable it's really you know it's in there pretty well um, I'm pretty excited so let's go ahead and charge this puppy alright guys so I have the IBG star all charged up uh, it took about five to ten minutes not too long but um, as you can see it already is a fingerprint magnet not that that is a big deal I'm sure if you are that big of a freak about it you can throw some tape over it um, but anyways let's uh, actually do this I'm going to do this on camera um, this is all legit so um, like I said there's an application for this uh, this little device here and I'm going to launch that real quick and it brings you up to this this is the last seven days of um, data on this this thing hasn't had the time or anything put on it yet so I'm gonna do that um, but uh, just this I'm just gonna give you a little tour of this right here this little slot here is where you're gonna put the test strip on um, this little uh, arrow thing here is the only button on this device and you click that and it starts up the device it's got a really nice really clean and crisp display um, and it's really cool and then on the bottom here is the little charging area um, for the micro USB at least and then um, on the back here you got information and it is made of a plastic and the front here I think this is a plasticky chrome looking like uh, thing it's not like a metal and then you have the 30 pin um, uh, input into your device so now that I've got the application launched let's plug this sucker in we plug it in um, it shows the battery life right here which is really cool and it pops up new meter attached now from here you have to uh, choose to sync it or um, or to cancel I'm obviously going to sync it so I'm gonna hit sync and now it's got it all set up or it is setting it up I believe yes okay we're all set up here now what we want to do is we're going to take one of these strips here um, one of the very few that they gave us and we're gonna pull it out um, the strip uh, these things are really thin they're made of a really thin plastic they're not very expensive at all I mean they're expensive but I mean they're not like hard to make um, so once you have that you want to turn on the device you want to find the end that you're gonna stick in uh, which would be this device there's the side here with these little like with all the white lines um, and plug that in and it will automatically start it up if it wasn't already and now it is telling me to apply blood to the strip now this um, viewer discretion is advised I uh, will be poking myself in blood well it's not a big deal it's just dip don't worry nothing do this all the time like a champ so there is blood um, that's probably a lot more than what they need but you know just let's make sure you know we can do this and you hear that beep as you can see the blood uh, did fill up there and it's got this really cool little uh, 
video going on, I guess. Uh, and my blood sugar is 398, which is kind of really high. Um, I missed my bowls for my dinner, but um, <laughs> that's uh, really... That's uh, that's kind of embarrassing. That's really high. So, anyways, it shows it out here on the device too. Um, milligrams per deciliter. It's got the time that I tested uh, and all that. So then you can add test or add tests if you test it on a different device and you still want to log it um, in your device. Um, or uh, you can you can also uh, check out your data. It can stir up a graph. You can do a trend chart, a ch uh, logbook, or stats. Um, and then you can also go and check out and share them with other people uh, through an email. So you can go ahead and send a, I guess this is a PDF um, of all your statistics. It's got all this really, really cool data like pre-breakfast, post-breakfast. I believe you can set those times up um, later in the uh, pr the application. But anyways, uh delete draft and then um you can you can share it with people you know with your parents you can send it up to spans of seven uh to even 90 days or custom you can set up your own custom span of time that you want to share with someone um for a date today you can also this one uh you check it with your endocrinologist if you're a diabetic um and you want to send them your data you can just email it to them right in the office this is really cool and then you have information here uh, you have settings and help so this is a really cool device guys i'm really excited to check this out this video is getting pretty long but I kind of want to show you guys how this thing works. Um, it's really, like I said, it's really small. It doesn't protrude much um, from the device. Well, it does, but I mean not as much as one would expect. Um, but, you know, this is a really cool device. It stays in. The only problem I can see is that you won't be able to rock many cases at all with this. Maybe some really, really close-fitting cases like maybe the Replicase case. Um, maybe the Switch Easy Nude, but I mean, otherwise, if you plan on rocking, say, an Hunterbox Defender or, uh, you know, a thicker case, you're probably going to want to look into an extension cable, um, a 30-pin dock, uh, a 30-pin docking extension cable. You can find those super cheap on Amazon, um, and I probably will pick up a couple of those, but uh, anyways, that's it. Uh, when you're done, just pop it out like so. Uh, and then it'll say that the meter is disconnected, and you're all done. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm looking forward to doing a review of this. Uh, I, I'm so stoked to get this product up and running, guys. Um, so anyways, a uh, little announcements. Uh, if you haven't seen my announcement video, go ahead and check out the channel. I'm also doing an iPhone case giveaway. Uh, if you guys go and share that with all your friends and family, the more people we can get into this giveaway, the sooner I can start handing out cases to you guys. Uh, this can take up to two months or it can take up to five years. I don't care. But um, go and check out that video. Go and check out the giveaway. Uh, and be sure to check out the rest of my channel. We have everything technology related. If you want to get a spot here on the Geek Tech 3 family, go ahead and email me geektechgabe at gmail.com. You can go and check us out on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash geektech3, facebook.com forward slash geektech3, and of course our YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash geektech3. Thank you guys again for watching. My name is Gabe from Geek Tech 3, and peace out.